folks, Will from MinIO here with a how-to on copying objects in MinIO using our .NET libraries. And in this video, we're going to be using .NET version 6. We're going to be connecting and copying objects up on play.min.io, which is our online sandbox that anybody can play with the MinIO platform. And we're going to be running all of this out of Visual Studio 2022 for Mac. Let me talk a little bit about what we're going to see in this video. We're going to focus on the copy object async method. In order to use that method, though, you're going to need to have a copy object args object to work with. And the interesting thing about the copy object args is that it has an argument itself that it takes the copy source object args, as well as the possibility for the copy source object to itself have a nested object in the form of a copy conditions. But let's just focus on the copy object async method. Let's take a look at our code. So here in our code, we have our usual program with our main method. And again, the main method in this case is really connecting out to play.min.io, and it's handling all of our exceptions for us, as well as running this singular task run method that we have here. I did add a couple of extra lines to my main method in this case, where I'm going to be outputting the list of files that exist on the MinIO platform in the .NET demo bucket, both before and after I'm actually running this copy command. So you'll see that in the output. But for right now, let's take a look at what we're actually running. The copy object async method is fairly straightforward. It just takes this args. So this args, this new copy object args that it takes, has the destination bucket and the destination object. But notice it has one more thing. It needs to know where the source is. And instead of having additional methods on dealing with the source, we have exported that out to a copy source object args method here, which takes the source object and the source bucket. So when you're doing these copies, you're going to see some nesting within all this stuff. Now, the handy thing about this, though, is that you can reuse these variables. So if I was to do a multiple copy, if I was going to copy a whole bunch of files, I could actually take this copy source args, copy object args, and just reuse them over and over. If the bucket name is going to stay the same, or what have you, or the conditions are going to stay the same, then all I would really need to do every time I ran this in a loop, say I would need to just change the object name and I'd be set. This comes in handy in, in that I can get a list of objects back, obviously, from the list objects method. So I could actually copy everything in a bucket to a new location should I want to that way. But this is a very straightforward example. We're going from our source bucket, which is the .NET demo bucket. We're going to our destination bucket, which is also the .NET demo bucket. So I'm just copying within the same bucket. But I'm taking the source object, our image, ping, and I'm copying it into a new location with this prefix backups. So I'm giving it this backups prefix and putting the image in that directory instead. So with that, let's go ahead and run this code, .NET run. So when we run this, before the copy, you can see we've got our hello world.txt and we've got our image PNG out there. That's all the objects that we have in the .NET demo bucket. But then after I do the copy, I get this copied uh, line out, I have this backups image PNG and then also the other files are still there as well. Of course, if I wanted to remove the old files, I could do that. But that is basically everything you're going to see with this. Args that we have here, so I can actually add a condition here with a with, for instance. So I could do a with. There's our with copy conditions right there at the top. But I can also say, let's uh, do a with a certain version ID, if I had a version ID that I wanted to work with. But here also is our matchy tag, not matchy tag, and also are unmodified or modified. So I can actually do it in here as well instead of just doing it in the copy conditions. It really does depend on how you want to run all of this. But with that, that is our entire demo that we've got here on copying objects at this stage. I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to reach out to us, you can use any of the methods you see here on the screen. You can always work with us interactively on minio.slack.com or just leave a comment on this video. Thanks very much and we'll see you for the next how-to.